Right, hello from the uh, workshop. Just a quick one this time. Yeah, I promise. I know we've heard it before, but I'll try to keep it short. This is for Michael Cap, who's just recently uh, become a subscriber. Welcome. Um, he's asked about the... He's just bought one of these lathes, and he's asking me, or a similar lathe, and he's asking me about where the two clutches are. Um, right, so without further ado, we'll point them out and we'll see how they work. Sorry about the flickering, but it's uh, my spotlights, I think, by looks a bit are interfering. Uh, I'm trying out some new LEDs, of course, they, yeah, they're not, uh, it's all flickery. Anyway, enough of my waffle. Two clutches, right, you've got one down here, right, which is your lead screw clutch, yeah, so it's on, off. Very simple, basic dog clutch. Um, the other one, right, switches. As you can see, I'm getting I'm getting set up for a job here. Uh, the other one is uh, switches between your head here and your middle head here. Yeah. Uh, the way I've got it set up at the moment, yeah, this is free to move. This is in gear. So we'll come back and we'll open here. And what we're looking at, oh, excuse my shadow, is this, right? Um, on your lathe, it's possibly a plastic bit. I replaced mine with metal, and basically, yeah, facing back, yeah, and it drives, as you can see, it drives the, um, your, your lathe, uh, your lathe head, and if you push it forwards, like that, Okay, it then, as we see, it drives the, uh, it's very simple, um, yeah, it's a very basic dog clutch, um, held by a, um, 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 a ball on a detent, that's all it is, uh, very basic, but it does the job, it's quite, uh, that's quite bulletproof, that, um, you can, especially if you run, uh, your carriage into your chuck and it all goes clattery clattery and stops uh, you will shear the clutch in here and you'll have to buy some replacements you can get replacements um, but um, yeah anyway anything else of note um, yeah if you're just using one of these mills and you haven't used one before make sure that uh, once you've got it teed up for the cut you lock the axis that is traveling so uh, on the here i'm going to be traveling in that direction so my carriage in that direction is locked it's not going anywhere uh, because these lathes do have a bit of play and it will jiggle about another thing is you can't take big cuts uh, because it will just fire this towards you or fire the tool off somewhere else and don't believe what this says Work it out for yourself. Um, can't be. Uh, it is. It's in increments of one millimeter. Uh, not like on here, where you've actually got some form of uh, micrometer uh, set up, where your uh, is it point oh two of a mil or something? That's a lot. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, each division is point oh two of an inch, or point oh five millimeters. Uh, here, it's one millimeter. You've got to remember that. Um, so, yeah, so tiny cuts. Don't don't, don't really go for it, otherwise it will. It will just spit it all in your direction. Um, also, um, you need to have this in reverse because the way this is geared through here, um, this, uh, yeah, it will it, uh, spin in the opposite direction that you were expecting because of all the gearing cobblers anyway that was possibly a quick one uh anything else to say about it no um so um did i mention your name i possibly didn't michael cap i do believe um yeah so i hope you have fun with it mate um like i say uh like i've said before there are limitations on these and as long as you work to the limitations you're fine um uh, hopefully you'll you'll have got a good one because they are chinese uh, which can be a bit hit and miss but uh, yeah Align it when you get it, and uh, take it easy, have fun. Right, so that's me. Uh, I'm off now. I'm off to do some some work. I've got a fair bit to do today. 
Um, back at the Heritage Centre tomorrow, and enough of my waffles. So, uh, yeah, do all the good stuff. Subscribe, um, comment, ring the bell, all the usual rubbish. And I'll see you all, you guys, again next time. Take care. <laughs>